If you need a wall clock with big numbers, then look no further because this is it. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is a wall clock and it's got huge numbers. It also has some features here for timing yourself. You know, whether you're cooking, working out, what have you. I don't know why you would do either. But inside here, we have a very large box with a very large clock with a lot more accessories than you would expect on a normal wall clock. Let's start right here. Power cable, kind of looks like it's for a laptop. And then we have a remote for this bad boy because this is how you will control it, program it. It's kind of nice, it's got this brush finish. It's all plastic, it's very light. And right back here is where we will put in two AAA batteries, which it comes with. Looks like I just have to unwrap them from the plastic. It's nice, everything that you need right out of the box. But what you might be able to see here is on off, time set, alarm set. You can make adjustments here, change the units for temperature, volume up and down, brightness up and down. That's a lot of stuff for a wall clock. And then here is the wall clock itself. Look at this. Comes with a manual. I might have to actually look at that. And then it also has this for mounting holes, which is actually really nice because as you can see, we have two big holes for a fairly large screw. So you can put two screws in the wall, gives you this little ruler so that you can mark where it needs to go. And then I also wanna show you here, we have a kickstand. So if you don't wanna mount it to the wall and you want it sitting on a tabletop or something like that, you can certainly do that. It's actually pretty light. It's all plastic construction, but it looks pretty nice. And on the front here, we have this minimalist, simple design. Just a black monolith screen. Bom, bom, ba -da! Bom, 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 bom. Very glossy, you can kind of see the LED numbers right back there. We also have programmable buttons right over here. So if you can't find the remote, the remote's dead, something like that, you're not gonna be out of luck. And then it wasn't obvious where the power cord would go, but you see you have this battery compartment right up here. And it looks like it comes with a couple of AAA batteries as well. So power backup right there. And then this is an excess storage compartment for the extra cableage. Now, what I wanna show you is right down here is where we will plug in the power cable and then you will snake it through this opening. So it'll either go out the side or hang down so it won't be pushing the clock away from the wall at all, all right? So what I wanna do now is get the batteries unwrapped, get everything turned on, and then we'll play around with it. All right, just got this thing plugged in here and this thing is big. It looks like it's flickering on the camera, but it's not. That's just the refresh rate, I guess. It must be LED backlit. So it's just showing me now that I've been playing around with it. It looks like it's kind of like every clock that when it gets plugged back into power, it thinks it's noon. So this is just four minutes into this little bad boy. What I love about this is it says day, Thursday, temperature. It's kind of scrolling through some of these different features here month and date so you get a lot of information at the ready i actually think that this would be a perfect companion for an office for a workplace so as you can see here the numbers are huge look at that look at the numbers compared to the size of my hand here so i'm going to just hit the on off button here and look at that off so if you have this in a bedroom in your house where you don't want it on the lights bothering you whatever turn it on and off just like that which is really nice I'm also gonna go ahead and hit the set button here. And now we can set English, that's cool. So I'm just gonna hit set on that. Now it's giving me the year, so I'm just gonna go back here to 2022. I'm gonna hit set again. I'm gonna go to the date, which is April 2nd. I love that the day has actually adjusted correctly. Now the time. And it's doing it in military time, which is actually nice because now I don't have to actually worry about that AM, PM. I'm gonna change the units on the temperature right there because Celsius doesn't mean enough to me. 64 degrees, eh, feels pretty comfortable in here. Now I wanna show you on the top of the remote here, I can toggle between military time and standard time. So now it's showing me 1134 PM, so pretty nice. I think this thing is da bomb. It's pretty glossy. You can see my lights in the reflection, but it has that minimalist cool look to it. I can change the brightness. I can change the volume. I guess that's what the alarm sounds like. Sound like church bells, but that was pretty loud. And then you can set that alarm right here if you want to. So set that for whatever time you want to get up, wake up to church bells and it's not quiet. So it will work. I dig this thing. Got this for my workspace, my office, so that I can just glance up, get the date, get the time, get the temp. 
how many times are you quickly looking and calculating out what day you need a week from today the time trying to figure out if it's time for a lunch break a nap break any of those things require a nice clock so if you want to pick up this big bad boy because having all this information at the tips of your fingers is going to make your life a little better i'll put a link to this giant wall clock in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper